help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. As it stands now, Igbos are on the crossroad. They don't know where to go. Is it to go to Biafra? Do they believe in themselves? They don't know. Is it to remain in Nigeria where they are so much hated? <laughs> They do not know Oshirigo Noko finally. Finally, OGD Kenala Jumwea. All of you that have sold in Namde Khan, you have seen it, that you have put yourself in trouble. You have stampeded your movement. You are not moving forward or backwards. You are stagnant. Kemba has Odorodi Kokonala. That is where Igbo were stampeded. Gahan Hano Kahano. They didn't move forward, they didn't go backwards. Where we kept Nam De Kano, that is where we are today. Have you seen it? Everything he said is happening. On daily basis, his words come to pass, as if he's a god. He's a prophet. He's doing everything he's doing for the Igbos, simply because of his pure heart. Love for my people. I love my people. I love my people. But my people hate me. That is not the kind for you. Well, what am I saying? Alaba International Market is sealed today. And some other markets that Igbos find their living. Sealed in Lagos. The other time, it was Ladebo. For two weeks, they sealed Ladebo Market. Yes. Reason being that you don't have governors, they treat you as if you don't have a place. And yet, you are bootlicking. Unity beggars, how long will you beg? Who else do you want to go to and beg? You have begged Fulani, you begged Wari, you begged Malami, you begged uh, Garuba Shehi, you begged, you begged, you begged. This time around, you are begging, uh, you know, people that forged certificate. You are begging everybody that did not win votes. You are begging people that you are better off. You beg, you beg. And uh, Thank you very much, my brother, for broadcasting. Thank you for telling us what the situation report of uh, Alaba International Market today. The other time was Ladip, or this time around is Alaba International. And no prior notice. No prior notice in case you leave money in your shop. They will just lock everything up. All your goods locked up. No arrangements, no prior notice. That is how they maltreat our people. And uh, our people are now like confused. They don't know what to believe in. 
Is it to believe in what Nigeria or to believe in what Simon Eba is doing or to believe in what Namdekano did or to believe in what DOS is believing in, which is Nigeria? This is the state of confusion in crossroad. Igbos know not how to go, like I started from the beginning. All right? But let me tell you, my people, it is better when we start our own country afresh from the scratch. Yes, we need more military men. We need markets. We need organization. We need governors. We need everything brand new so that we'll start. When we start, just like they started us again with uh, 20 pounds, when we start without anything again, God who did it when they gave us 20 pounds would do it again. That is my simple belief. And that is why I believe in Biafra. Many people, they castigate Simon A. But, oh, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's a scam. He's doing this, that, he's doing. But then, who do, who will lead? We need somebody to stand out and lead. In as much as Nambekano, they sabotage his efforts and today he is in DSS custody. They don't even know how to release him. Even the Igbo governors are still writing letters that he should not be released because they still believe in one Nigeria. Look at what Nigeria you believe in. The shops of your people are locked under lock and key for no just cause. Under lock and key for no just cause. I ask again, what is the way forward? Ndibo. Ndibo, is it not better we start our own? Even if it's one dollar. One naira we, we are using to start our country and we call it our own and we secure our border and we love each other and we push with one mind and we establish our businesses down there in the east. Do you think it will not go? It will not go forward? What makes you to think that it will not go forward? What do you stand to lose if Biafra comes? That is the question every Dick, Tom and Harry from Igbo Extraction from Biafra region should answer. Tell us what you stand to lose if Biafra comes. And what is that that you are gaining that since Biafra has not come? Tell us your gain, your profit so far so good. And then tell us what, we, what you think that would likely be your losses if Biafra comes. Well, the ball is on your court. You just have to drop your comments, like our videos, and then you share. God bless you all.